how you are getting standard cost of standard quantity into standard price standard yield is specified and the actual yield is obtained so how many product you are producing which is completely considered as a actual yield labor cost variance is a difference between the standard cost of labor allowed for actual output labor cost variance uh, how we are getting labor rate variance plus labor efficiency variance Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysore, the temple of excellence. We are in the unit 5, session 10, fourth semester BCom, costing methods and technique. The chapter name is budgetary control as well as standard costing. Agenda is the classification of variance. The variance, how you get to know, because uh, standard minus actual, whatever the difference we are getting, which is nothing but the variance, okay? Either the variance which is related to the materials, labor, cost related, okay? There are different types. Uh, the cost of variance, exactly we can find out the cost of variance. Uh, and the types of variance, how many types will be there in the under variance, okay? So, moving forward, the first one, the classification of variance, uh, uh, we classified majorly based on the cost variance and sales variance okay so the uh, the cost variance may be gained subdivided into the various for each uh, elements of cost uh, what and all which is connected to the production so the major which is completely cost related following chart the total organization variance will be divided into two major category which is cost uh, under cost uh, again subdivided into material is one kind of input so we are finding uh, based on the standard as well as actual uh, the difference what we are getting so we, we need to find out the uh, setting standard comparing with the actual and again under uh, cost which is related to the labor cost okay and uh, last one is overheads so which is talking completely based on the cost variance okay the cost material cost variance and the labor cost variance and over its cost variance okay moving to the sales uh, uh, there are subdivided into two category one is sales value basis and sales margin basis okay so under sales we need to identify the major one is the value uh, okay the value or standard how you are setting and the uh, based on the sales margin okay so which is nothing but your profit generation here so moving for the cost variance you will get more clarity which is only applicable for the product okay manufacturing product not for service product so in a manufacturing function the cost variance uh, are classified on the basis of elements like materials labor and expense uh, or overheads we can say okay the cost variance uh, the standard cost what you are setting for the material what you are setting for the labor what you are setting for the standard for the overheads okay so of each elements of cost uh, reconciled with the actual cost so always uh, unless you are not stating the management whenever they are try to implement or installing the standard costing obviously the, there is a standard is very important the setting standard in the last session you got more clarity about the setting a standard okay so based on the the cost center so actual cost the difference is called cost variance the standard cost minus actual cost standard cost minus actual cost which is nothing but the cost of variance okay so the total variance the cost variance uh, further classified uh, into one is the price variance and volume variance, okay? So moving forward, uh, the types of variance, uh, when we are talking related to the cost variance, okay? So the total variance is the difference between the standard cost and uh, actual output, okay? So the actual total cost incurred for manufacturing and actual output. So if actual output, what and all the input resource like material uh, variables, uh, overheads, uh, uh, even the labor cost uh, it is involved right so obviously the productions will be uh, setting with the help of standard so the total cost variance comprise the following the first one direct material variance or you can call it as a material cost variance okay mcv so that is very important how you are setting a material based on the material cost when you are setting a standard which is compared with the actual so which is call it as very direct material variance okay or material cost variance okay so the material cost variance which is majorly which is talking related to the standard cost and actual cost okay uh, the material cost uh, variance is a difference between standard cost okay, of material 
for the actual output or actual cost of material used for the production actual output. So both are same here. So uh, when the cost is standard cost minus actual cost, obviously we can find out the difference uh, which is nothing but the variance uh, when, you, when it is a favorable result you are ex expecting of course which is giving a positive sign. Uh, next the formula to find out uh, material cost variance, okay there are two formulas either you can apply the directly standard cost how you are getting standard cost standard quantity into standard price okay now actual cost how you are getting actual quantity into actual price which if it is actual cost is given we need to find out the uh, rate okay so obviously we need to divide the number of units uh, where the SC stand for standard cost, AC stand for actual cost, uh, SQ stand for standard quantity, SP stand for standard price, AQ stand for actual quantity, AP stand for actual price. Okay, moving forward. The uh, next one under material cost, very simple to understand material cost variance is equal to material price variance plus uh, material. Okay, so the coming slide you will get usage variance the material price variance how we are finding very simple to understand here uh, material price variance is a difference between the standard cost of actual quantity what you are producing and the actual cost for actual quantity uh, the actual cost for actual quantity symbolically material price variance is a standard price okay minus actual price standard price minus actual price we, because we are talking related to price so we need to consider for price only into actual quantity what you are producing so either you can write uh, aq into sp minus ap this is also possible here next one how to find out the uh, material usage variance how much you are using for the okay uh, to find out the variance here uh, MUV uh, is a difference between the standard cost of a standard quantity of material standard cost of standard quantity of material for actual output how many for example 100 you are producing 200 you are producing we need to get to know the more clarity about the actual production okay actual output the standard cost of the actual material use okay so exactly how much uh, the standard uh, setting for the quantity and uh, even the actual quantity is consumed so material usage uh, easily you can find out here standard price here we we consider for uh, actual quantity now we are writing for the first time uh, standard price into actual standard quantity minus actual quantity okay so uh, standard price uh, because the usage which is always calculated based on the price so that's what the standard price into uh, standard quantity minus actual quantity so easily you can find out the material usage variance so next one material Material mix variance, MMQ, MMV means material mix variant. Okay, for, for example, the, there are too many products or raw materials are using. Okay, so the product uh, material A, material B, material C, so which is a mix, right? So we need to find out. It is a proportion of the material usage variance uh, which uh, due to the difference between the standard and actual co composition of mix. Okay, so to, to produce one final product, so we are using a different uh, material. So that's what the material A, material B, so it which is nothing but the mixture right so here the material mix variance is calculated uh, under two situation as follow okay so one is uh, when the actual weight and standard weight of mix is clearly specified okay so are equal then the formula is used to calculate the variance one is the uh, material mix variance uh, standard price into standard quantity minus actual quantity standard price into standard quantity minus actual quantity that is also possible in case of standard quantity is revised so obviously the standard uh, again uh, in the last session i have told uh, uh, too many times i recalled uh, when the standard what you are setting the management uh, they can be it can be revised okay so due to shortage of particular category of material so again you need to revise so the particular shortage of materials when you're facing the formula will be changed as follow material mix variance standard price okay now we are uh, we are not writing for standard quantity we are writing revised standard quantity minus actual quantity so only standard instead of writing standard quantity we are just replacing a revised uh, standard quantity now again how to calculate the standard revised standard quantity very simple formula 
here the revised standard quantity when the actual weight is weight and standard weight of the mix are different uh, the formula to use calculate the variance here yeah, the total weight of actual mix okay the information which is actual quantity mix uh, divided by total weight uh, weight of the standard mix uh, into standard cost of the standard mix the because which is provided the information based only we need to calculate and minus standard cost of actual mix okay if you subtract uh, take the total weight of the actual mix uh, divided by total weight of standard mix uh, into standard cost of standard mix okay uh, minus standard cost of actual mix moving forward so in case of standard is revised due to the shortage of particular category of material the alternative formula will be followed now the material mix variance the total weight of actual mix the total weight of actual mix um, the product material a material b material c you have to take the total divided by total weight of standard mix even uh, unless uh, the standard is not setting obviously we cannot do the standard is clearly specified so we need to take the total standard okay so multiply the standard cost of revised standard mix minus standard cost of actual mix uh, okay this is one formula r when actual weight and standard weight of mix are different so which is completely different so the formula used to calculate the variance is a material mix variance is equal to total weight of actual mix okay the combination of raw material you need to take the total divided by total weight of standard mix multiply standard cost of standard mix minus standard cost of actual mix very simple formula in case of standard is revised due to shortage of particular category of material the alternative formula which is same repeated here moving forward and the material yield variance how to find out material yield variance which is completely based on the actual output what you are producing so it is a proportion of material usage variance okay so this variance arise due to spoilage uh, low quality of material and defect production planning okay so in case of this one only we are finding a material yield variance difference the material yield variance may be defined the difference between standard yield is specified and actual yield is obtained so how many product you are producing which is completely considered as a actual yield so this variance may be calculated as under the first one material yield variance is equal to standard rate okay into actual yield minus standard yield okay so how here uh, actual yield standard yield and the standard rate uh, okay as so i calculated the how to find out the standard rate here the standard cost of material mix whatever the given in the question so we need to take the standard mix divided by net standard output okay so if you divide so otherwise uh, at the end of uh, you need to verify uh, mc is mcb material cost variance how you are getting material price variance plus material usage variance if you add together if the result if it is favorable f we are writing if it is negative a we are writing okay so in case of uh, to verify material usage variance material mix variance plus material yield variance if you take together usage easily we can find out so here the note positive means favorable and negative means adverse a yeah. and moving to the labor cost till now whatever I have discussed which is completely re related to the material now moving to the labor cost variance labor cost variance is a difference between the standard cost of labor allowed for actual output okay so for example how many hours which is completely talking related to hourly rate so achieved and the actual wage paid we need to multiply so the total cost variance very simple to calculate the standard cost of labor or whatever the specified so we need to subtract the standard actual cost of labor so symbolically when we are writing standard rate into standard hours for actual output what you are producing or minus actual rate into actual hours okay so rate is calculate multiply with the hours okay how many hours 
so here sr stand for standard rate st stand for standard time or standard hours yeah, AOU stand for actual output producing, AR stand for actual rate, AT refer, T, T refers time or you can say uh, hours. Moving to the labor, under labor cost variance, we are finding labor rate variance as well as a labor efficiency variance. So under labor rate variance, uh, it is a part of the labor cost variance. Now at the end of the, uh, we need to verify. So that's what, so which is a uh, due to the difference between the standard rate specified in the uh, question and the actual rate is pa paid. The variance uh, arise from the following reason. So why the difference variance we are finding, difference we are finding. So one is the change in the wage rate Next, uh, faulty recruitment. Uh, so, uh, at the time of recruitment, uh, faulty recruitment, the payment of overtime, OT. So, the employment of casual workers, etc. Too many reasons we are finding here. Okay, it is uh, expressed as follows. LRV stands for labor rate variance is equal to actual hours into when you are considering a T or H. Uh, so obviously we need to write for the in the bracket standard rate minus actual rate. Okay, the same logic, whatever it is applicable for the material usage. So here in material we are writing quantity, but here we are writing a hours or T. Next under labor efficiency variance E L E V. Labor efficiency variance otherwise known as a labor time time variance. Okay, it is a proportions of the labor cost variance which arise due to the difference between standard of labor hours specified. The standard labor hours which is specified, okay. So obviously we need to compare with the actual labor hours spend. Okay, so how many hours they work to complete. So the usage uh, reason for the variance are one is uh, the uh, number of reasons will be the poor supervisions and poor working condition, increasing in the labor turnover, okay, defective materials. So it can be, a, there are too many reasons. It may be a calculated as very simple here. So uh, now in case of uh, labor uh, rate uh, variance, we are writing a hours. In case of efficiency variance to find out the standard rate we are uh, considering, standard rate into standard hours minus actual hours standard rate into standard hours minus actual hours. Okay, next one, labor idle time variance. How to find out, my, uh, because we know the, uh, the standard is based on the, in the last session, I have clearly uh, specified the idle standard. So, which is based on the labor idle time variance, how we are finding. So, labor idle uh, time variance arise uh, due to the abnormal situation, which is not there in the normal condition, abnormal situation like strike, uh, lockout, uh, breakdown of machinery, etc. So, because of this reason, so uh, the productivity is going to not increasing, uh, the productivity completely stop. In other words, idle time, which is not at all producing any product. So idle time occur due to the difference between the time for which workers are paid. Because the management, they want to pay for the labor, right? So the, that's what we need to calculate the idle time variance. And that which you actually spend upon the production. Okay, so how many hours they are spending to produce a product. In case here, yeah, there is no productivity because of number of reasons here, yeah, strike locked out. So it is calculated as followed idle time variance, how we can find out here, idle hours into standard rate, idle hours, what is the time duration, there is no productivity, okay. So moving to the labor mix variance, uh, again the same, how, how it is applicable for the material mix variance, here labor also skilled labor, unskilled labor, okay, so obviously. Uh, it is otherwise known as a gang composition variation. We can call it as a gang composition variance, skilled, uh, semi-skilled, uh, okay, or unskilled. The variance arise due to the difference between the actual gang composition, okay, then the standard gang composition. So obviously we need to find out the difference. So labor mix variance is calculated the same way of material mix variance. So the same procedure we are following. There we are considering a rate. Now we are considering here hours. This variance is calculated in two ways. One standard or actual time of labor mix are 
ओके आई जस्ट नो आई टोल्ड ऑन स्किल्ड लेबर ले स्किल्ड लेबर सेमी स्किल्ड लेबर यूजिंग ए मिक्स कॉम्पोजिशन so the formula for computation may be follow the material labor uh, mix variance the standard cost of standard labor mix the standard cost what you are fixing for skilled uh, semi skilled unskilled the trade you need to consider minus standard cost of actual labor work okay the there is an actual productivity based on the labor or work we need to consider so there is one more Uh, when the standard and actual times of the labor mix are different so if it is different in case of uh, equal same means we are writing this formula in case uh, if it is both standard and actual which is uh, different means we need to write one more formula so change in the composition of gang may arise due to shortage okay so particular grade of labor uh, the grade la grade of labor like uh, unskilled uh, skilled uh, semi skilled uh, like this it may be calculated as follow mid labor mix variance uh, is equal to revised standard hours revised standard hours minus actual hours revised standard hours minus actual hours into standard rate what you are uh, fixing for the standard uh, whether revised standard hours total how to find out revised standard hour so here the same thing the total actual hours uh, what uh, what how much you are allotted uh, divided by total standard hours into actual hours okay if you multiply easily we can find out the revised standard hours okay moving forward so now under labor yield variance under labor yield the material yield variance what what exactly we find so same thing we are finding based on the labor yield variance so this variance is calculated in the same way of material yield variance labor yield variance which is comparing with the actual okay so due to the variance in the labor cost on account of increase or decrease yield either it is increasing or decreasing so for output uh, as compared to relative standard what you are setting for the labor okay so the formula for this purpose is very simple to uh, one is the uh, labor yield variance uh, standard labor cost per unit of output standard co labor cost per per unit of output uh, into standard output per actual hours per actual output so uh, if you multiply easily we can get the uh, labor yield variance so again we need to verify okay how we are using the verification uh, under the uh, material cost variance the same thing we are try to do for labor labor cost variance uh, how we are getting labor rate variance plus labor efficiency variance one or to find out the labor efficiency variance so we are calculating material labor uh, mix as well as uh, labor yield so labor mix variance plus labor yield variance if it is equal favor again the result will be positive keep on watch for next section thank you